new talent trying to make a difference. J Prince a reggae act on the rise. Young singer hitching his wagon to older reggae acts like Beres Hammond, Luciano and Chaboo. Building an audience abroad first, but hoping to make a real difference here at home. J Prince hailing from Spangler's downtown Kingston. Two brothers dying by gun violence. But the 22-year-old defined the odds thanks to a determined and devoted mother. I was raised in a hostile community, in a hostile system, with gang war and violence every day. But thumbs up, hats off to my mother. They get on me and say she raised me. All them friends. So, I got me a thought about the DJs, they might do them thing and they might make them money, but the parents, they might have to think about raising them child properly. I'm trying to be a role model to the youths in the street are trying to become influential and are doing it through music. When people hear Jay Prince story, the youths that I'm trying to be influential to, when they hear a Jay Prince story, they say, all right, in Jay Prince, he lost two brothers and the gang war and violence. So instead of to do that, we are trying to look in on something else, whether it's football, whether it's cricket, whether it's tennis. Jamaica running with the hype and whatever is trending now, you understand, and with Jamaica, reggae music is not always trending, but in other countries, it is always trending. If you had a big tune, you'd be running with the hype too. But you, no. don't, but you don't have a big tune. It is different because of the message. You understand the background, what I am trying to do. They have hype because they are trying something different from me. It is what I am trying to bring, up, bring across. My story, that is what makes me different. I have to transition myself from being a I, I, I get to you, you understand the whole lifestyle, I have to change the whole lifestyle to so come on and try to influence you on a different different part. It has been a rough part for me, you understand, and still is a rough part, losing two brothers and all of that to the same thing. But you have a mother and you are the only boy I pick my left, so you have to be different. If I know for you or for them, you understand, and for the rest of you, it's the way I try to influence. But, your brother's day? One shot. One seven shot, one twenty. So basically your two brothers are dead and your mother hopes that you you live to tell the tale. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm doing it good too. You choose a different road. I mean I tried to it and I miss it work. And it was a choice you made? Definitely. We couldn't do the same thing because mama did it and she'll look out to see we do different. You haven't mentioned daddy yet. Well, Daddy died in 2015, but I just wanted them things, they never did it for me, so I never really put it in practice. Because we're doing reggae music and we're doing positive music, and it kind of tedious to crack the, 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 the system out here with positive music. So we're kind of taking it overseas, you understand? People overseas accept what we come with from earlier, so we just try to start it over this and we can come out here. Well, the point you're making is that people in, in Jamaica are, are very much into the dancehall stuff and not not listening as much to reggae as they used to. Well, they're tired. listening to reggae, you know, but they listen to it after it broke out, out in the world. So that's it, that's it. That's why we have to go out there as reggae artists, as positive artists, and try to direct the music back to Jamaica. Many people in, in a, we grew up in a, the inner city, they choose a specific lifestyle, or a specific way, or a specific type of music. But to the type of music that I am bringing across is message music, is world music. The kids are listening to Massacre and Alkaline and Popcorn. They're not listening to Jay Prince. But when I go out there, and they see that the rest of the world is receiving the music, and the music is well received out there, that is when they will take it on, and they will decide to listen to it. I'm not sure people really care. And because I am well received by the elders as well, I, mean, I will get people <laughs> telling their kids as well, say, listen to Jay Prince. I mean, I know, you know, see that you there do positive things. Try and listen to what that you there do. Take that, that, that footstep there. Wear your pants by your waist like that you there. You understand? Try to hold a positive reasoning like that you there. So it doesn't have to be really the music. That's why I'm saying the background and the, the channel I'm working in right now has a lot to do with who I will become and how influential I will become in the future. I could have been doing some reprisal killing in like five years ago for your brother or two years ago for your brother because the same one still at one. So probably we could have taken up going and do some reprisal killing and probably save, share the same fate as our brother. So at the end of the day, we give thanks. But why didn't you? 
same thing, mama. We have mama to think about it. And, and, and we have to put this in some youth mind out there. Be careful of the things that you say to your children. You understand? When your kids out there and they might talk the bad things, them, don't laugh and say, why? Later down the line, you might change. You understand? Put it in your children from now. Say, yo, you're a star. You can do good. You can be, you, you can be somebody out there in life, regardless of the situation and the struggle. And where you're raised and where you're born, still put it in the mindset of your children that them can be something. Because I think that's the thing. That's the focus. That's where my mother, that's the road that my mother showed me, regardless of the situation. So that's why I'm doing it right now, to make her proud. And she's the biggest thing in your life? Well, apart from my kids, of course. Mommy. That's reggae singer Jay Prince doing his mom proud. <laughs> The ER Top 10 broke.